A local woman grieving and heartbroken, saying the post office lost her mother's ashes. And now she wants answers about how this could happen. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris talk with that daughter who says she just wants some closure now. Janice joins us live from the United States Postal Service office downtown. So Janice, this family is devastated, huh? You see this paper in my hand? This is the last image that Miss Bing had of her mother's ashes inside of a box. They were supposed to be delivered to her in November of 2023, and she says they've been missing now for seven weeks. Well, I Marilyn mean, Bing is grieving a mother she loved dearly. This is a 90-year-old woman. Watch this. All right, work it out, mama. That's Dorothy Powell on her 90th birthday, full of energy and fun. The following year in 2023, she passed away. All right, now. Work with it, mama. Work with it. Powell's daughter, Marilyn Bing, is waiting for her mother's ashes to be delivered by United States Postal Service. The family plans on keeping her ashes in little lockets to keep her memory alive. But now that may never happen. Then they lost it. And so how did you find out they lost it? I never received it. For, when I never did receive it, I went to the post office and talked to the manager there. Bing went to the distribution center on Commonwealth, where she says the staff tried to find the ashes, but they were unsuccessful. This receipt shows the ashes were shipped from Illinois to Florida and were supposed to arrive at her home on November 27, 2023. The tracking log shows the box of her mother's ashes was scanned in Jacksonville. After that, there's no record of what happened to my, bo my mother's box, the, the ashes and stuff. I burst into tears. My daughter's crying. My grandkids are crying. Yeah. And give me a moment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, I want to go cry. Bing says USPS tried to help, but couldn't find her mother's ashes. So I called and emailed looking for answers. But no one answered. I asked for a manager at this Jacksonville distribution post office, but no one responded. And I emailed the USPS media contacts. We are waiting to hear back. Bing remains baffled by how such a large 17 by 11 by 13 inch package could get lost. The thought of never seeing her mother's ashes is painful. I can't believe they lost her ashes, her box. They lost the whole box. How do you lose a whole box that weighs 17 pounds? At this point, the package could be anywhere. And Bing is hopeful that someone will find her mother's remains. Bing was told to put in a claim. She says that's not enough. How do you put a price on add your people, your family's ashes? Do they actually think that that money is going to compensate me? For now, Bing will wait and pray that one day she can be reunited with her mother's ashes. If something like this happens to you, yes, you can file a claim. But with something like this, ashes are simply irreplaceable. We're still waiting to hear back from local management and even national management with the United States Postal Service. Reporting live, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station. Janice, thank you.